Peretti has a reputation for producing really voluminous good cruising boats, but what they're less well known for is producing stylish looking craft. But this time they've got it absolutely right with the 650. A clever restyling with that big inverted tick of glass in the hull makes it look longer and sleeker than the 620 before it. The interior has had a substantial revamp too, being even more open and friendly, more the kind of way that families are likely to use boats these days. But it's every bit as stylish, and that aft galley with a large window that lifts up and makes it open out onto the cockpit really works well, giving a natural flow between inside and outside areas. As usual, there's lots of funky features, like this glass table, where even the leather supports at a certain style. Down below, there's the usual full beam owner's cabin, and again, the use of light materials and big hull windows give it a very relaxed, informal vibe. Each of these big windows also has a little opening section, so you can get a flow of air through the cabin. But it's really the view out when you wake up in the morning and look out see the water shimmering in front of you that really makes the cabin something truly special. The ensuite bathroom runs through to a walk-in shower, and the fit and finish here is every bit as sophisticated as you'd expect of a stylish Italian craft. As with most Ferrettis, the helm station is on the port side of the saloon, and very comfortably equipped with everything you'd need. There's a much lighter use of colours, with really good artificial as well as natural lighting. And even in the forward VIP, those big hull windows make sure that there's plenty of light. The bed itself is tucked into the forward end of the bow, but it's beamy enough not to feel too cramped. And the fit and finish is just as high as it is in the owner's cabin. The ensuite bathroom has the same high standard of finish as the owner's, with lots of dark Corian worktops, veined marble and light oak cabinetry. And all the fixtures and fittings have a very polished look that add to the overall feeling of a very sophisticated, well-finished boat. There's a second guest cabin on the starboard side, with twin berths and again an ensuite bathroom featuring that same distinctive look. During the daytime, Guests are likely to spend most of their time up on the flybridge, where there's a good spread of seating aft, two further forward-facing seats to port, and the helm station over on the starboard side. Unusually, there's no radar arch up here, just a small stern mast, so it can feel a little more exposed than some other flybridge boats in this class.